most of the houses are, are destroyed or these plywood houses uh, or houses that are just quickly put together. A board house, if it's properly built, can withstand the hurricane. Channel 7 is a good example. That was built many years ago. And like that, there are so many of them. I mean, look at the old house that was falling apart by Happy Tales. You know, that one that was falling apart, that's still standing. Goes make the point that if it's properly built, it can last. If you look at the low-cost housing that the Ministry of Housing has been doing in the city, all of them, no damage to the to the, to, to, to the buildings. So our the, the idea is that we want to be able to build as many houses as we possibly can for as many people as we can within these, these areas. And then also then for, for probably middle-class um, 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 families, see if we can get some low-cost funding um, interest rates so that they could also um, rebuild and rebuild better. We cannot continue giving them plywood houses because then we're not doing anything for them because with the next storm is going to go away. Uh, it's going to be um, blown away. And also you continue to perpetuate poverty. And um, and the, 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 when, when you look at, at, at the, the whole, whole, the conditions that our people live, I don't think, Nobody should be living under those conditions in 2022, anywhere in the world, especially here in Belize. So the, the job, the task ahead of us is huge, um, but we have to start somewhere. And I think the best opportunity to start is now to ensure that we can get, um, to be able to assist people, um, well, more, more long-term than as opposed to, to short-term.